everybody! Welcome back! Um, thank you for watching. Today I thought I would show you my favorite, favorite, favorite medical palettes that I've collected over time. Um, I think all of them are still available except one, which I'm just going to mention quickly. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into the video. So first I want to talk about a palette that I really, really like. I got it on the plane because here in Austria I assume you cannot get it like in a store or somewhere. It's the Nude Tude palette and I really really do like the colors. Its watch is very good. I have used it um, sometimes. I haven't used it as often as I should have but that's just because I own so many palettes and I'm just going back and forth and back and forth between them. It comes with a little brush that is well, I would say it's, it's, it's useless because it's, it's, I don't know, it's just not such a good brush. I have different brushes that I like more. Um, but as I said, the colors are really, really pretty. I do not own the Nude Dude yet and I'll probably not own it ever just because I have so many palettes as I said and I don't really think that I should go out and buy more, if that makes sense. So, next one I wanted to talk about is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, which I actually really love just because of the scent. I mean, you have a palette that smells like chocolate. Chocolate! Oh, yeah, it does smell, it smells like chocolate. It's not overpowering or anything, it's not like, ugh, I'm gonna, gonna throw up because of that scent. The colors are really, really pretty. Um, I do have to say though that I am disappointed about some matte shades, especially the big white one and the pink one. They do not swatch very good. I mean, as you can see maybe on my finger, it's just, I mean, it's a sheer wash of something, but I, I, I wouldn't, like, I would expect more for the price from this color. Just a little bit more coverage or a little bit more creaminess, if that makes sense. Um, other than that, the palette is really good. I like the way it closes with the magnet because it's um, much better than like the next one or some of the next ones that I'm going to show you where I really be like, I can't open, can't open when I'm in stress. Mm. But this one is really good and as I said, the scent. Oh. Okay. Next one is a brand that I haven't heard on YouTube at all, ever, like, I've never heard about this on YouTube, and it is, let me open, here we have the opening problem, okay, works. I cannot uh, turn it because they need to be sticked in, but this is like how it looks like, and the swatches, oh my god, these are all individual eye shadows from the brand Makeup Studio which is a vegan, I believe, brand from, from Netherlands? I don't know. Yeah, I will leave it in the description box below so you can check it out. Um, but, like, I just created this palette myself. I chose the colors myself. I chose mostly baked eyeshadows and mostly glittery and shimmery ones. Actually, they are all glittery and shimmery. There's not one matte shade on here. I'm just gonna swatch this shade for you because it's my favorite shade of these two because this is like, this is the perfect frozen shade like if you wanna go as Elsa. Um, so you can see like the swatches, just two swipes and the colors are so pretty. Yeah, that's what I really love about this palette. The only uh, downside to it, it's not, it's not like magnets, you cannot put it in a Z palette, it really needs to be stuck in there and then you can have troubles getting it out once they are used up, even though I find that I'm probably never going to use these up, but there it goes. Next I have the Too Faced, another Too Faced palette, it's called the Love palette and the colors, I'm telling you, are amazing. Um, the color payoff of every single color, I should probably hold it like this because of the hearts. The color payoff is so pretty. They are so creamy and pigmented. They all come in kind of, sort of like um, five colors that kind of are good to use or that accompany each other. 
It's very, very pretty. I really like it. If you... Excuse me. If you do not like shimmery shades though, this one is not for you because it's full of shimmery shades. I don't even think that there is one shade. Uh, yeah, one shade. <laughs> is not shimmery, so if you aren't into shimmery shades, it's not for you, but for all you shimmery girls out there, this one is amazing. And it comes with a really, really good um, black liner, and I have to tell you, this liner reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay 24-7, I forgot the name of the black liner, it's really, really, really a good uh, liner in here, so if you are interested, for it. Um, uh, my next favorite palette is also again something you can create yourself. It's a C palette. Mine is full with um, mostly Makeup Geek and some MAC colors. I really like these colors. I have to say that if you want colors that are fairly cheap with a super duper, super duper good payoff, I mean, you probably already know this, but um, Makeup Geek is the brand to go for. Even in Austria, Germany, wherever, they ship worldwide. <sighs> this brand, I, I love these um, eyeshadows. They're very, very, very pigmented. They cost, I believe, $6 per um, pan, whereas a MAC shadow costs around, I think, $15. Don't quote me on that, though, but... Ugh, these are mm, amazing. Um, I love them. I can't. Today my hair, I don't know. Just one of those days. Next palette that I want to show you is one of my favorite uh, Morphe palettes. Um, it's the 35T palette. Uh, it is amazing. It's actually, I mean, it's one of my favorites, but it's like the only not limited edition one that I own from Morphe but the colors are just so me because it's so gold and shimmery and still there are matte shades and it has like some plums and it's so awesome autumn appropriate I really really like these shades they may not appear that good on camera um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna swatch a few shades for you now I am gonna swatch shade because it is so creamy so pigmented when I received this in the mail and I was swatching the shades I was like what so I'm swatching these four shades for you oh my god the pigmentation gets me every single time um these are the shades uh you can probably see how shimmery they are next palette that I'm going to talk about is also a Morphe palette Oh, and just so you know, I was going through the palettes in a particular order. Um, the ones that I love most are the ones last. So, just so you know. Um, which is why this is one of them that I love most. Also the other one before. I love them all. Who am I kidding? Okay, this is, and I'm just going to show it really quickly because I know it was limited edition and I'm pretty sure it's not in stock anymore. If it is, I am going to link it down below, if it isn't, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go, like, not even swatch it, just quickly. One of my faves is the Jaclyn Hill um, Favorites palette. With these last two, these are my last ones, uh, I don't know which one I like more. This one is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, and I have, like, I've been wondering um, so many people do not like this palette, so many people prefer the Naked, the original one, um, and I don't know why. I mean, yes, the shades are pretty similar, there are even, I think, some same shades in these little guys, but, but, what uh, took the, like, the point for this palette is just because it has a matte black shade and that's all I need like a palette and a matte black shade and we are friends these are the shades you probably probably know those shades I love every single color in here there's not one color that dis dis 
that disappointed me. Um, yeah, overall a really great palette. I know that these are fairly expensive, but if you think about it, I think it costs $40. And again, don't quote me on that. I'm gonna link everything down below as I said already. Um, but you get a lot of shades and it's really, really nice to travel because it's a hard case, so I'm not afraid to break it. It's also very sleek, so it fits in every single travel bag. I really, really like it and it comes with a fairly a good brush. Uh, I would definitely take other brushes as well, like with me, because I cannot work with only two brushes. I could make it work, but I wouldn't want to. So um, I would take other brushes, but this... Oh, it's attacking me! <laughs> okay, but this brush is really good, so another win for this palette. I just don't like the way it closes. This, I don't like it. I like the, the smoky palette better with the magnet, but it's not designed for me. Haven't used it often enough. <laughs> okay, and um, drum roll. Last but not least, um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, palette. It's called the Shadow Couture World Traveler palette. And this palette, I'm telling you, the shades, oh my god, they are so like autumn. Just wrap this up real quick. These colors are very, very pigmented. Uh, these palettes, I believe, cost you, how much was it? 20 or 30? I don't think that they are $40, I don't know. Again, I will link it down below. I will have everything in the description box that you need. I just don't know it, like right off my head, off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this one is really, really, really good, really pretty. Um, as I said, the color pair off, amazing. I don't know if I will use the blue shade that often because it's blue. And I don't know, I'm not using blue shades that much. But I will definitely try to make it work at some point. This completes my favorite palettes video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys could um, see something you like or I don't know. If you have any questions about the palettes, just leave them in the comments below. If you want to see me doing some makeup tutorials with some of these palettes, also comment that down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and subscribe, it's free. Um, find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I hope you have a great weekend or you've had a great weekend by the time this video is up. I hope you have a great day, great night, great everything and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah. My button pierce and my two, uh, both of my ears. Uh, tats? No, I don't have tats. Um, righty or lefty? 